Yeah, Michael Sharp was sentenced to 72 years behind bars. He's the former head of a Connecticut charter school organization who was found guilty of raping four women, including Linda of Bloomfield, Roseanne of Middletown, and Kathleen and Shelley, both from Windsor. And although we were not allowed to record their statements in court, they wanted us to use their first names because they want people to know that they are survivors, not victims. After hearing the survivors in their own words speak of how Sharp's heinous crimes debilitated their lives, Michael Sharp himself spoke, turning toward the women who refused to make eye contact. I don't know what happened. I don't know. <laughs> don't know, but I'm so sorry. So, so, so sorry. Sharp is accused of terrorizing the four women 38 years ago, 1984, breaking into their homes, creeping up to their bedsides, showing a firearm and raping them in the middle of the night. He wasn't identified as a suspect until 2003 and wasn't arrested until 2020, when new DNA evidence was used to analyze swabs from his garbage linking him to the rapes. If I was and I was because the jury said so, this person, this monster, I hope he's dead in, inside that two months of my life. The state's attorney argued that Sharp should feel the full weight of justice, despite not being able to be charged with sexual assault due to the statute of limitations. The impact a crime like this has not only on the victim, but uh, cascading down through relationships those victims have the rest of their lives. Meanwhile, Sharp's attorney did her best to reduce his sentence. The number of years of, of productive life, um, I asked Your Honor to take all of that into, into consideration. The judge delivered his verdict, a 72-year sentence, equating Mr. Sharp to a predator. You fit that in definition. A person who ruthlessly exploits others. Now, sharp sentencing follows his five-day trial, which took place back in October when more than 100 pieces of evidence were presented and 22 witnesses were called to the stand. It took a jury just a half an hour to come back and deliver that guilty verdict. Now, also while in court today, members of Sharp's family, including his daughter, also got up to support him, delivering some more emotional words, saying that her father is a kind and honest man and not a monster. We're live here outside Hartford Superior Court. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.